This is going to be a short video on how to initialize your DCT transmission clutches. Now you may find you need to do this periodically over the life of the motorcycle as the clutch plates wear or if you get a uh, indication in the dash of uh, over here where you see the normally the tour indicator lights up if you see dashes in there or asterisks in there that may also be an indication you need to perform this procedure or if the motorcycle is just shifting oddly so that would also be a good indication you may want to try this to see if uh, this clutch initialization procedure solves any any shifting issues or if you've changed oils types and you've noticed a change in the way the transmission shifts. So before you start this procedure the first thing you have to do is you you really need to ride the motorcycle five or ten miles and get the engine oil up to full temperature because the initialization procedure will not work if the engine oil is not fully up to temperature. And I've already done that portion of the procedure so uh, I've already got the engine warmed up, I've ridden it a little bit, the oil's up to temperature and we're ready to start the process. Also, if you notice while you're doing this procedure that the rear, if you're doing it on the center stand and you notice the rear wheel is rotating, that is because of the viscous coupling action of the engine oil through the clutch plates. So you can simply just put a little wheel chalk there. You know, you can actually just hold that wheel with your finger to stop it from rotating. But anyway, if you, if you are doing this on the center stand and you see the rear wheel rotate, just put a little block of wood there, stop the rear wheel from rotating, and then begin the procedure. All right, and the way the procedure works is you push the drive and the neutral button a certain sequence after turning the ignition on. And that sequence is going to be, and I'm just going to show you here prematurely what it is, but the sequence is you push drive twice, then neutral, then drive, and then neutral. And that's how the sequence uh, is activated and it will start the learning process. So the way you begin is you hold down the D button while I'm turning on the ignition switch and you'll see the little red engine what they call the mill light indicator in the dash is going to come on and then go off and after the mill light uh, indicator goes off you release the D switch. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. Hold down the D, turn on the ignition. There's my little yellow mill indicator. It went off. I released the D switch. Now I push D, D, N, D, N. And you'll notice when I do down here, this starts flashing. That indicates that it's in the the clutch initialization procedure is ready to go and the D is on. If the engine oil temperature was not up to temperature, you'd get either a small L or a big L that they're indicating the oil temperature is not uh, up to temperature. So now I can just start the bike normally like I do, push the start switch. And it's going to start going through the initialization process. You'll, you'll hear it changing gears and you'll see this flashing and when the initialization process is complete and successful it will go back into the tour mode so you just let the engine run and it will take a little bit of time as it tries to go through the gears and shift Okay, it's finished. It's done with the procedure, so now I can simply turn the ignition off and my initialization process for my clutches is done.